Well, good Friday afternoon to you, and we've had a beautiful day here, and we're going to try to shoot another one of these uh, videos outside, and I'll talk to you about what the building's going to be. So if you hear a little background noise, I apologize for that, uh, but that's just the cars on the road behind us. Uh, but I want to share a verse with you from the book of Exodus. Exodus 14, 13, and the Bible says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which ye, he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more. And then verse 14, The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And I want you to think with me really about these two words about standing still. And uh, right now, one of the hardest things to do as far as ministry is you feel almost helpless. Uh, because everything you start to do, you cannot do. And even this the, this uh, week, our our state uh, governor has recommended more uh, rigid things as far as our, our staying at home and all those type of things. So everything we start to do, we say, well, we could do this for kids, or we could do this for senior adults, or we could do this for our neighbors. Or we, and then you back up and realize you can't do those. And so we're at a very much so a standing still. But I want to remind you, this is not the first time that God led his people to a standing still point. In this story here, I'll remind you, the wilderness is behind them. Pharaoh's army is coming behind them. They're closed in with mountains and nowhere to turn. And they literally have no other option but to trust God and let God do a great work. Well, I have to tell you something, New Testament church. That is where we are today. All we can do is stand still and let God be God and let God work and remind you that if we stand still we'll see God do some amazing things so even in the building and even in the process of everything we're going through I'm sharing with you today really my heart because everything seems to be at a point where we must stand still we continue to move forward with the building but then this is delayed and that problem what can I do I must stand still I look to minister to someone can't do this and can't do that well what must I do I must stand still and let God work and I'm thankful for this that God can work when we cannot work and I want to show you I said I'd show you just a little bit of the building the reason we came back outside just this week they finished the stucco uh, on the drive-thru and I showed you the drive-thru a few weeks ago and uh, or a week or two ago and it was just plywood uh, but the stucco work is finished uh, you can see the white underneath there the drive-thru and this is the very front of it and a beautiful cross there of course all that trim will be painted and all the trim will be coming on the uh, the gutter soon and we're just excited uh, that another step has been done uh, pray for some pretty weather uh, Lord willing in the next week or two uh, at least the next couple of weeks we'll begin with the grading work and begin putting in the parking lots so you pray for us as we continue to do what we can do and let God do what we cannot do